Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for watching. Welcome back to the Dutch Sea Channel. And I have me another box. Yes, sir. Uh, largely unmarked box, as you can see. But uh, there's a Hobby King label over here. And actually, let's uh, zoom in on that so you can also see the specs of this. Like I mentioned, a Hobby King plane. Yes, a plane. It is the Hall Cherokee Glider. A 1700 mm wingspan glider. Um, it can be flown as a motorized glider. I'll show, the, show you that uh, in a minute, of course. Um, you can uh, tow, tow it uh, behind the plane or you can uh, high start it with a, a rubber band. And uh, let's see. Uh, yeah, a 1700 mm wingspan. The length is 920 mm. Uh, flying weight 700 grams with the power pot on it. It has a 30 amp ESC and it can be flown on a 3S 1500 LiPo. Yeah, I'll be running it on a 1800, I think. And let's see. Yeah, if you want to use the tow release, uh, the plane comes with a tow release in the nose. You'd have to uh, have a fifth channel uh, receiver. Otherwise, you you can do with uh, four channels. All right. So much for the box. Let's see what came in the box. All right. The wings. Yes. Um, as you can see, the wings are quite narrow, which is pretty common for gliders. Um, I'm sure you already know that. And. The wings are a little translucent because of that you can see the carbon spar that runs from the base of the, the wing to here. Um, pretty generous, that should be more than adequate. And the aileron also has a carbon strip running acro uh, across, so uh, th that's very nice. Uh, less flex in the aileron that way. Um, Servo is already installed. It has, it's hard to see because it has a nice plastic covering over it. Um, control horn and clevis are already installed as well. And uh, yeah, you have a servo lead coming out over here. And I can't show you that, but uh, over here there's uh, the entry, the, the beginning of the carbon rod, which is enclosed in a plastic. Uh, piece. That's, uh, that's nice. Um, yeah, the, the plastic piece is also where the wing is screwed on to the fuselage. Um, looks good to me. Uh, the only downside or negative thing I have to say about this, um, this is the bottom side of the wing and here you see the top side and they are identical in uh, yeah, the decal on the bottom and the top of the wing is identical. Uh, not super for orientation. Now, a glider like this, uh, you won't fly it very aggressively, so you could, should be able to keep track of things very easily. Nevertheless, I will probably add a bit of uh, red wing, ta uh, wing tape over here to the bottom. That's personal, of course. And other than that, it looks just fine. Um, Nice and smooth, no damage at all uh, in the packaging, very very nice. And here we have our fuselage. Um, very unique shaping of the fuselage. Uh, I, I like it, uh, it looks uh, different than other planes. And um, Experimental, wait a minute, I'm paying for uh, using an experimental product. <laughs> okay, uh, let's see. Yeah, on the bottom over here you see a generously shaped uh, large wheel. Very nice. And um, I'm not sure if it's really handy to be um, launching this plane from the ground. But uh, I'll give it a try anyway in my flight videos. And over here you also have a tow hook for your high start maneuvers and um, hard to show you but uh, at the bottom you've got two holes one air intake and one tow um, tow intake and if I take off the hatch which is magnetically held 
um, you will see that there are three servos uh, in it. Two tail servos already installed and one servo over here and that's to operate the tow release. Very nice, nice addition for sure. I like that. And um, yeah, over here, this is where the motor pod will slot into. And it's nice that they add, added a foam piece to cover it up if you do not use the motor pod. Very thoughtful. It is also magnetically held in place. And now that I mention it, let's take a look at that motor pod. Here it is. This is the motor pod with a 65mm fan, I think. Um, it looks bigger than I had expected. And uh, it'll connect to your ESC with this three-way connector. Um, yeah, that should, that should work just fine. The ESC that comes with a plane also has obviously this three-way connector and a XT60 on the other end. And as you can see, the ESC uh, part of the heat shrink uh, is removed to uh, aid in the cooling of the ESC. Very nice. Now let's take a closer look at the back or the tail of this plane. Vertical stabilizer and the rudder are already installed as you can see. It has by the way a little plastic protector over here if you uh, land the plane on a rough surface to protect the foam. Um, the push-pull control rod is already uh, attached to the uh, rudder as well. However, um, in my eyes this is really a design flaw. The control rod is unsupported uh, from over here all the way up to this point. So it can bend all over the place. Now again, this is not a high speed plane. Nevertheless, um, yeah, if you are steering the, the tail uh, to the left, so this way, that won't be a problem because this push-pull rod will be pulling on, on the rudder. The other way around though, uh, yeah, this, this push rod can, can bend all over the place. So I will address that once again. This is not a high-speed plane. But this, yeah, I don't like this. I will uh, put a retainer on it over here, I think, so the, the rod can't uh, twist all over the place. Um, okay, let's see what's in the box other than that. All right, a horizontal stabilizer and your elevator. Uh, which will be held on with two screws by the looks of it, which is just fine, but I'll add some, some glue. Um, it ha also has a carbon or carbon fiber, I, I don't know, but uh, probably carbon spar running through it. Uh, no carbon spar thing through the elevator. Um, yeah, that should do, do just fine. Uh, once again, I will add some glue to uh, uh, attach it more securely to the fuselage. Alright, apart from that there's a bag of hardware in the box, some piece of velcro to attach the, the ESC and your LiPo and a glass fiber wing joiner, uh, some Hobby King stickers, a uh, splitter cable by the looks of it for your ailerons if you um, Ah yeah, if you don't want to use the ailerons um, as uh, flaperons or spoilerons, uh, yeah, then you can use that uh, Y splitter of course, and that'll save you one channel. And it has a metal uh, rod that will secure the motor pod in place. And the last thing in the box is a user manual and let's have a close look at it. Um, 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 um. Well, it looks just fine. Um, normal English, no uh, re weird translations. Uh, da -da -da -da, glider launch, yeah. CG is mentioned, control throws are mentioned. Looks just fine. 
no issues with the manual at all. Now what I'll do is I'll uh, go and build the plane and then I'll come back to you uh, with my findings on that uh, if I run into any problems and such. Hold on. Alrighty and here we have the Hell Cherokee all built up. Um, yeah it looks great. I'm, uh, I'm very happy with its, uh, with its looks. Um, it feels pretty sturdy as well. Uh, like I mentioned before there was no damage at all uh, from uh, shipping or packaging. That was nice. Um, did I have any build issues? No, not really. Everything fits. Uh, the only real uh, downside of the build is that this pin you have to drive in to uh, lock the motor pot in place is a bit fiddly to get in. But uh, as you can see I uh, managed to do it. Um, the only thing left for me to do is to uh, check the CG and then I'm gonna yeah, see if it flies well. Which uh, yeah, will be in an upcoming video of course. Uh, I hope to be able to do that uh, in the coming days so uh, be on the lookout uh, for that. Uh, for now. Um, if you have any questions about the plane uh, hit me up a comment down below and thank you very much for watching of course. Bye bye.